welcome back to Patrick's Tech Reviews and another watch review. And as you can see, we have the Victorinox or El Victorinox today. So this is how the box comes. Very simple, plain box. Let me open the lid, put that on the side. Then you have one that's folding down in the front. Then we have some instruction manual, warranty card and some advertisement over here. Let's put that on the side as well. And you have the warranty card. And let's put that on the side. We we'll take the box out. And again, very plain, simple, black. You see the Victorinox logo here. And inside we have this one. So this is the model 241683.1. It is the green version with a rubber band. And let me just take it out. So inside as well, you see Victorinox here, uh, Swiss Army. Uh, we take it out from the pillow. Put that on the side as well. <coughs> and this is how the watch looks. So uh, I decided to go with the green one because I didn't have a green watch. Uh, I did like it a lot. And you might be asking yourself, uh, what is this black thing here? Let me just switch to the other camera, which is here, <coughs> so we're going to see it a bit closer. And here we go. So this is, a, an, this is an additional protection of the watch. As you can see, it's like a plastic cover that goes on top and reaches all around the case just to protect the glass furthermore. So now you can see that the glass is all inside there and uh, just to protect it further. But uh, we'll take this one off, actually just look at it quickly. So you have the 2, 4, 8, 10 and 14, 16, 20 and 22. And it's very very tight. So I had it loosen up already a bit. And then you can take this and just put it in the box, I'll leave it in the box. So let me give you some specs on this watch. So it's uh, obviously Victorinox is Swiss made. Uh, it's the same manufacturer that does the knives. And uh, this one is a rubber band, uh, color green, same color as the dial itself. Uh, it's 43 millimeters in diameter. And uh, what's the main selling feature of the Inox is um, Victorinox went to really extreme measures to test this watch and show that it's really really tough so it's kind of the G-Shock, uh, the Swiss G-Shock from uh, Victorinox um, even though it's quartz movement as well um, it's, it's a steel right, uh, case, it's not like a Victorinox, uh, sorry, it's not like a uh, G-Shock itself, here we have one where everything is rubberized. Uh, here you have just a rubber band, but this is all uh, stainless steel. And here everything is rubber, so you can bang it. You could do that with this one as well, but I don't want to put a scratch into it. Um, and here we go. The Kazu just fell down, but no problem at all. Okay, so what can I tell you about this watch? Sorry. So what they've done, they actually threw it from 10 meters height uh, and it was still working. They uh, went with it diving, obviously 200 meters, you can see it in here. Let me just get closer. It says 200 meter water resistant. Swiss Army, and so I have to polish it all the time because of the <coughs> dust. Uh, and uh, they had it 20 minutes, no sorry, 2 hours in a washing machine um, with 90 degree water inside. Can you believe it? I mean, so if you forget this in your pocket, um, and you wash it, uh, it should survive it. And I read something as well that they drove with a tank over it. So obviously this is something, I don't know if they did it on concrete or not, but this is a tough watch. Let's basically summarize it like this way. Okay, uh, the weight of this one, and the weight of this one with the rubber band is 133 grams. It's an analog quartz movement. Um, so 43 millimeters is a screw and crown. As you can see here, let me just focus on this one. Come on, uh, with the Victorinox logo on it. It is protected, as you can see the lock goes over it. And if I unscrew it, you see it comes out a bit. Come on, 
on focus. Here we go. And now we can adjust the date. Focus. We pull it out once, we can do the date. And we pull out twice, and we can do the time. Okay, so let's screw it back inside. It has a battery and life indicator, so basically once the battery starts uh, depleting to a level where um, you need to replace it and the second hand will jump two seconds in a row so it's like it's like tick 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 and then it's gonna basically indicate you you need to change the battery um, it's a scratch resistant three layer uh, anti-reflective uh, anti-reflective sapphire crystal obviously you cannot see it here let me just see uh, it's still reflecting obviously but it is not bad I mean I have watches that are much more reflective than that um, it has a date uh, as you can see here uh, luminous on the logo itself let me just go a bit closer hold on so you have loom on the Victorinox cross loom on all ind indices on the hour and minute hand and the second one is a jumping red second hand, has no loom on that one. Then the case, if you look at it, it's really, really nice brushed. Uh, only this, this parts here are polished. And just see how I can get it in so you can see it. So the case and top part is brushed, the bottom is polished. Let me just turn on the light and go into super macro now you can see it better so this one is polished as you can see and obviously it's gonna get some scratches because I did wear this watch uh, here we go so this one is polished and on top is brushed and again we have a Victorinox logo here on the back side we have stainless steel sapphire crystal Swiss mate water resistant 200 meters and Victoria Knox Swiss Army. Then the rubber band with the clasp and another small Victoria Knox cross in the clasp itself. And now let's get out of Super Macro. So just to see some of the details you have in red 13, 14, 15, 16 until 23 and uh, then you have the little marks in between and on the bottom you have Swiss mate. Okay, let's turn off the light and focus. Uh, let me just put the watch on for you so you can see it. And as well one thing that I forgot to show is that we do have the Victorinox cross as well on the rubber band. Then you have two holders where you can put the band through and then this is how it looks on the wrist. It's a really, really cool watch, I like it. It's kind of nice to have, I have to say like this, the G-Shock from Switzerland from Victorinox and this is the one. Uh, it looks really, really tough. I like the design, I like the polished and brushed look of it. Let me put this in this camera and as you can see it, it fits nicely on the wrist. It's actually very comfortable. The rubber band is not hard. Uh, it's very soft but it still gives a good uh, grip on the, arm, on the wrist because of the structure of the band. Let me just go into this camera again. Here you can see it. It has like this kind of hills, little hills on the rubber band and that one basically keeps the watch in place very well. And uh, at the moment, uh, you can get this one uh, on Amazon and put the link below on Amazon for around f between 400 and 10 euro. I saw the cheapest offer to 450. Uh, regular price in Switzerland is, uh, I believe, 465 Swiss francs. Uh, let me just double check. Yeah, 465 francs. And at the moment, I have an offer uh, I've seen which I put down in the link below, so you can find this one in the link below as well as the blue version of it, where the dial is blue and the band is blue um, for a really, really good price of like 360-ish or so. 
So if you're looking for a really nice watch, uh, I recommend to look at the Victorinox. And they have it in different uh, setups as well. And they have it in different colors, in, in uh, red, in green, in blue, in black, in gray. They have the power cord bands. They have it with a bigger diameter of 45 millimeters. It is called the Inox Professional. Uh, it's a diver's watch or more into diving. Uh, it looks a little bit different from the outer design here. Uh, and they have as well titanium versions of it, uh, which I really, really like and I'm thinking about getting maybe one as well. Um, they have it in lighter blue. So this one you can get in dark blue, the offer I mentioned. Then they have a lighter blue titanium case, um, light blue uh, band and light blue um, dial, as well as orange. And uh, they look amazing, really, they look really amazing. So if you'd like to uh, get this watch, just please check down in the description below. Uh, the links are there and I would appreciate it. Otherwise, uh, leave a comment below, ask any questions, subscribe, share, like, comment. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.